Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I know it's been a little bit since I shot a video and posted it to YouTube, but had some computer issues. I've been in and out of town. I had my honeymoon. We had holidays, honeymoon, or not honeymoon. I always say honeymoon, but really it was our second anniversary. Uh, so we went over to Daytona and had some cool fun and rode some horses on the beach like the wife wanted to do. That would be, she's over there somewhere. <laughs> so we're working on some cars today. Um, I'm shooting this particular video on this Porsche GT2. I uh, just completed it, and so we're going to talk about that a little bit. But first, there's an F12 Berlinetta. There's a Ferrari California. There's a Scudera or Scuderia or however you say it. That's what that is. Um sweet Porsches over here. <laughs> uh, we gotta clean that thing up. But we'll talk about the other ones in other videos. So this is a Porsche GT2. Uh, if you guys look back at some of the videos that I've done over the years, I've been taking care of this car for a while. However, in the past two years, I have not touched this car. Um, since I saw it last, it's had several upgrades, one of which is that badass cage in there. Um, the windshield is definitely all pitted up from just driving around and that kind of thing. So these HRE wheels are not easy to clean by any means. Neither are those calipers because of how close the uh, spokes of the wheels are. However, I did the barrels, I did the face, I did the um, lug nut holes, I cleaned all of the calipers, and I dressed the tires 50-50. Uh, the new 2022 Universal Dressing, diluted 50-50 with water is what is on the tires. So we got the wheels and calipers all straight. They're beautiful. Uh, this paint, when I started on it, which I should have shot the intro video before I touched the car. However, uh, as soon as I saw it, I knew it was going to take me a while. So I wanted to just jump on it and get some, get it done. So when it comes to this Porsche, um... I'm pretty sure he recently added this carbon fiber, the rear seat delete, and the cage in there. I don't recall these having been there last time I was working on the car. Um, it's got some cool carbon fiber in the back, these inserts. I got the exhaust all nice and clean. They were all kinds of carboned out. Um, so I polished this Porsche with the one system, universal all-in-one correct and protect. Works awesome and leaves behind really good protection. Uh, I mean, you can see the gloss is absolutely stunning on the car now. It had overspray all over. It was black overspray. I did use the uh, DeWalt polisher. And, uh, oh, you can see a little bit where I was polishing the transfer from what the clay bar didn't remove. I mean, I, I clayed and clayed and clayed and clayed and clayed. This uh, pad should not have that black tint to it or the gray tint to it. That was part of what was still coming off in the uh, smaller areas and then ended up having to polish the glass. Oh, what a what a pain, but it's straight now. Man, it looks awesome. Um, we also... We also did the interior, so this thing's all done. I love the seat backs in red. Everything in there is in red. I was thinking about doing a cage like that in my Mini. Nothing like a Porsche GT2, though. I mean, it is what it is. Pretty awesome. So, beautiful car. And uh, it is complete. So, uh, like I said, wash intense clay bar polished with uh, universal all-in-one and then hand cleaned all the wheels uh, they could use a little bit of hand polishing but they're not real bad and uh, the whole front end is paint protection film so I polished all of that and I'm, I'm really happy with how how it looks now this thing is amazing so, um, that's just a little bit about this, uh, Porsche GT2. Didn't need a whole lot on the interior. We just vacuumed, vacuumed it out, wiped it all down, that kind of thing. Wiped the seat backs because they're all painted and then wiped down the 
cage in there a bit, uh, but you know, most of the work was on the clay barring and the wheels. So there we go. All right, thanks so much for watching this video. Check out the other videos. I am gonna do a video on each car just because I don't wanna confuse the process because they're different on every car. Um, little kind of similar. I'm actually gonna use a brand new polish on the uh, F12 Berlinetta, but it's not something that I'm, I'm gonna release to the public unless you guys want me to when I show it to you, but I actually built this polish specifically for a buddy of mine, Caleb, Caleb Phipps. He lives in uh, New Jersey. Uh, he actually works for our great country. He's in the Navy. Uh, thank you very much for your service, sir. Uh, I'm, I know that you'll watch this video, so that's why I'm saying it. But uh, also, thanks for being my friend. I appreciate you uh, and a good customer. So anyway, we're done with the GT2. I'm going to move on to the Berlinetta, but I'm going to use a special polish we designed for Caleb per his specs. Um, and we'll see where it goes. So check out the next one and check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Thank you guys for watching and listening to me babble. Have a great day.